Hi, it's Chris from QTD. Uh, today we're just going to answer some questions regarding installing your cladding. Um, but obviously if we don't cover any of the questions that you have, then by all means give us a call or just drop us an email and we'll do our best to uh, help you. The most, the most popular tongue and groove cladding profile is the NISA, the channel profile, which um, is this one. Um, most of the time this one is run vertically and the main reason for doing that is because you eliminate the issues of dirt collecting on the shelf and the water and the dirt will just run down the groove. So that would be the, by far and away the, the most popular one for vertical applications. When you decide to install your cladding, don't fit the boards together tightly. Always leave about a one to two millimeter gap just to allow the timber to breathe a bit during the winter um, without the fear of it pushing off the side of the building. The best profiles for running the boards vertically would be the NISA profile, the channel profile, um, the Vera, which is the tight V-joint profile, or the wide V-joint profile, which would be the Aria. Um, they would be the most suitable. The other option, of course, the fourth option could be the, the Ziza profile. It gives you the option of just pulling those boards open a couple of millimeters. If you don't want it as wide as the NISA, then you can have that gap open to about five millimeters and you've still got an overlap on the profile. The main reason for running the boards either horizontally or vertically is really from an aesthetics point of view. So um, if you want to exaggerate and enhance the height of a building, you would run it vertically because your eyes drawn to the long lines of the, on the board. Um, alternatively, if you want to soften the height of the building, then run the boards horizontally. If you wanted to run a board with a, a fin style pro, um, profile, then effectively what it is is just one board that's screwed to the face of the building and then the second one is screwed to the side of that facing board, that therefore creating like a letter L. Um, and then obviously the next profiles you would then set about two millimeters away so that you've got enough, a small, very, very small gap between the profiles and then you would just run that all the way along the, along the, uh, the elevation. The popular profiles for running horizontally um, can either be the Aria profile, uh, the Viola, the um, Rombo, but of course that's obviously an open, pro an open profile, um, but that isn't a problem provided you've got a waterproof membrane behind it. Um, or you've got the Palmer profile, which has got the clips, clip fixing system. One of the old, old fashioned profiles will also be the Sara, and that can also be run um, in a horizontal application. All fixings used for timber cladding should be of stainless steel grade, either marine grade or normal A2 stainless steel, uh, mainly because some timbers, um, natural timbers like cedar for example, will, um, will be affected by, if you use galvanized pins or, uh, or screws because they react to the tannins in the timber. We well, don't get that issue with any of the thermo woods, but nevertheless we always stick to using stainless fixings because they're just completely inert, you don't get any issues with them. Um, if you want to fix, if you can try and avoid fixing in the, on the face of the board, then that would be advantageous. And depending on the profile you've chosen, you can go through the bottom corner of the profile at an angle of about 45 degrees. In the case of using pins, um, you need to have them about 50 millimeters long. Um, and then secondary, you could use a secondary bond on the batten, a uh, silicon bead or a, a bead of glue, just as a secondary fix if you're not comfortable about working using pins. Other than that, we would always recommend using screws. We use um, loss heads, very small headed screws. All right, thanks for watching. If you've got any further questions, then by all means drop us an email um, or give us a call and then we'll see what we can do to help you with your project. Bye for now.